I'd painted outdoors on quite a few occasions, and some of these were memorable experiences. But I've had to ask myself, is this really the best way for me to make pictures? Of course, it's been a painting tradition since at least the 19th century to find a quiet spot, set up a portable easel, and attempt to capture a scene from life hopefully recording some important truths about light and color. But is this what really happens in practice? On a recent driving trip from Los Angeles to Sacramento, I deliberately set aside extra time to look for painting subjects on the rural highways of the Sierra Nevada foothills. In the end, this detour added about four hours to my journey. I might have spent that time at just one or two locations. I would have committed to some scenes, set up my gear, and produced two or three sketchy panels. Of those, one might have been halfway decent. But I didn't. Instead, I took photographs, lots of photographs, many ideas for compositions, many subjects, many points of view, over 600 images in all. Many of these were taken while standing in the middle of the road or perched on a rock wall or crouching on the ground and most were taken in the fading light of a spring afternoon. Back at the studio, I was able to look through these photos at my leisure. Of course, most didn't turn out to be images upon which I wanted to base paintings. But of the ones that were, I had time to carefully edit my compositions and to plan my treatments of value and color in ways that would improve my odds of success. As of the making of this video, I've produced four or five nice small panels and a few larger pieces, all from this one day of shooting. In almost every case, it would have been impossible for me to set up an easel with the same vantage point as my photograph. And well beyond my abilities to record the ranges of detail, value, and color, that my camera grabbed in an instant. Yes, my photographs may have some optical distortions, but like countless other artists and illustrators before me, I have techniques to compensate for those. And although I know that my eyes can see more nuance in value and color than a digital sensor, the high-res files will provide me with more than enough information for me to paint pictures in my style. I enjoy the outdoors as much as nearly anyone, but my primary mission in my work is to produce as many good paintings as I can before the clock runs out. And I don't apologize for that. I hope you found this interesting. I welcome your comments. Take care.